Australia to ban children from social media. I'm down for that. Ban children from using social media? Really? Let's take a look at this. Australia is to ban children from using social media. Ooh. The legislation will impose and enforce a minimum age to use platforms like Facebook and Instagram by the end of the year. Although the exact age hasn't yet been revealed, mm -hmm. the government is consulting on settling it between the ages of 14 and 16. Here's Prime Minister mm -hmm. Anthony Albanese explaining his reasoning. I want to see kids off their devices and onto the footy fields and the swimming pools and the tennis courts. Uh, we want them to have real experiences with real people because we know that social media is causing social harm. This is a scourge. We know that there is uh, mental health consequences uh, for what uh, many of uh, the young people... It's crazy. I hear that social media has got kids all kinds of fucked up. Uh, it does. Like, because whenever I was in school, like, we had social media, but, like, it wasn't really that much of a thing. Because, like, we had, like, MySpace and, like, Facebook and shit like that, but... I don't know why, but like, yeah, thank God. Yeah, it wasn't that big of a big of a deal. Yeah, it wasn't life. Guys, what social media you had in school? Because I mean, in till high school, all I remember with social media and stuff is Skype. We, we were using Facebook only to message someone, nothing else. Skype and Facebook. Yeah, I, I was using Skype to play Minecraft with friends. And basically that was the, the whole medias that we were using i mean in high school for sure uh instagram came out snapchat came out i mean basically after i graduated tiktok went viral and messed up the kids i guess because basically you lose attention if you keep scrolling on tiktok if i yeah i don't know what it's like now because like you know back then like you couldn't get on social media on the at, at school right like you couldn't look at it at school you couldn't do anything like that at school like you had to wait till you got home and everything exactly exactly so exactly it's terrible now yeah a and this guy's fucked out now man. we ain't even children i mean i'm gonna be i mean we had we had phones in high school i mean modern phones that you can type and shit I mean, we had even before that, but no one was just using the phone like that. In high school, yeah. Most of the time I, I used the phone to play a games or something, but not to use the social media. To be honest, like, I think I have a great relationship with social media. I do. Uh, I treat it like entertainment. I think that if you treat social media like entertainment, then Depends you how begin to actually much enjoy use it. it in a healthy way. And you might spend... <laughs> if you spend eight hours scrolling on TikTok and you call it... <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's definitely not good. Too much time looking at it, sure. But like the moment that you become emotionally invested is I think the moment that you start falling off the cliff, you know? I mean, yeah, they, basically it's over. My mom gave me modern like phone when I was th third grade. I, I'm trying to remember what was my first phone. I think it was a Nokia. The first cool phone I had was basically my mother's phone. And it was super simple phone. The only good thing is that you can... Uh, you remember this phone that you can do this. Poof, 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 poof. They open like this. You open it that way. It's literally the same like... Uh, oh, the, um, the, the button phones, but you, you can just do this. Ha, 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 ha. It was so cool. Online, uh, the access to material uh, which causes social harm. Well, our correspondent yeah. in Sydney, Phil Mercer, tell me more. Well, so we heard that from the Australian Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese. He doesn't want uh, an Australian child's best friend to be a device he wants yeah. them out on the football field or i mean getting people to go outside is important definitely uh but it, it's hard to really like <laughs> bro you cannot say that you're asmon goat you cannot say that you never go outside come on bro said to go outside and when the first time he went outside he said the sun is burning his eyes like stop people Hello, from Burton. doing that on so like social media people are just gonna play video games right instead so, like, if someone doesn't want to go outside, that's fine. Uh, I think also, like, in general, like, my opinion is that the age yeah, should be the age of consent. So, like, whatever the age of consent is, that should be the age that you have to be in order to use social media. 
uh what wherever like if it's 16 18 17 like i, I think like around is like fucking 12 or 9 maybe make an exception for that still can't have social media that early but overall that's basically it 15 in sweden yeah I, i'm not sure but either way um I, I think that's really where i would look at it from playing netball on a court mm -hmm. so what his government is proposing that before the next election which is due before may of next year he wants to bring in new legislation that would set a minimum age for children to access yeah. social media. He hasn't said uh, how young an Australian would have to be or how old they Who would the have to be in order Facebook? to, uh, to <laughs> exactly. count. It's likely to be somewhere between 14 and 16 years yeah. of age. The Prime Minister is favouring the upper level in that age range. W. But uh, many unanswered questions remain. How would this be enforced? We know that facial recognition how many of you are using facebook right now i mean using as a tool to scroll to find information to chat with someone who somehow is stupid and also using facebook well you don't necessarily need to have like a hard level of enforcement it's just that if somebody is advertising themselves to be underage then you should ban them and also, it will. It, it is a method of reduction, like guaranteed that there's less kids on social media if you get banned if you say that you're a kid on social media. Like it's it's obvious that that's what would happen. So it, it's not like it, it it's not like it's going to get rid of it. The only thing that can get rid of this problem is good parenting. At the end of the day, like that's the how you do that with good parenting. Just make parents cool the only thing that you're really going to be able to do because even if you made it to where you needed to have id verification kids would just use the parents who didn't use the social media accounts and then sure. just pretend to be their parents so there'd always be a way that you could get around it and there's always a way that like kids can find to like get drugs or get again. Hello. alcohol or something like Sasha. that right just lie etc right so like the only real such a question for you because you're little how mm, long you're using tiktok instagram and so on and do you think it's uh, it's a problem for the kids right now? No solution. Like, if I had a kid, would I allow my kid to have social media? Um. Yes, it's a problem. Okay, he said it. <laughs> but why do you think it's that way? I mean, what what is in school right now? Because I I was in school like uh, I don't know six years ago. What are kids doing right now? Like, are they perma on the phone and scrolling on TikTok, or it's just? Only we say that, even if we are not in school. TikTok is why humanity will go inst instinct. Jesus, so deep. I use TikTok one hour a day max. Yes, they are perma scrolling. So they don't pay attention in school, but they are just watching TikToks. Which, in my opinion, is still the same that when I was in school. I didn't pay attention in school. I was just uh, playing on my phone, like games or stuff. I mean... Yeah, for sure is a problem, but I feel like the school system has more pl problem with that. Because basically they make school boring, and when they make school boring, kids get dumb. What, what, what I missed? Why he is silent? I think it depends on a kid. What, 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 what? Solution. Like, if I had a kid, would I allow my kid to have social media? Imagine us, Mungot, has having a kid. Ugh. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it depends on a kid. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'd really uh, I, like. You know, let's say they're fifteen, right? Uh, would I allow them to have social media? I think I would say yes. Before fifteen, but it really depends on who the kid is, because like it, it's not like the kid's gonna be a blank slate, right? Like for example, like some kids like some things, some things. I what if it's a girl? Well, I I think like basically. The best solution is for a parent to teach and bolster that individual, like their, their child's ability to understand what they're dealing with. Exactly, 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 exactly. From social yeah, there is a ton of bullshit in TikTok, Instagram, and so on. But you have no idea how much information also has. If you use it for information, to learn stuff, even sometimes... Uh, yeah, sometimes it's it's fine to enjoy a random, uh, what was called, brain rot stuff. But if you do it uh, eight hours, brain rot, 
your brain is gonna burn. I, I won't say education is trash. I would say that education needs to be fixed. And what I mean by fixed is every day something new uh, come out, uh, like new technology, new stuff, you know. And in school, haven't changed for the past 150 years, which is super dumb. I mean, they're trying to, they have to change something. In my opinion, Bulgarian schools are fine. You educate with a lot of knowledge if you pay attention, but they don't teach you how to use that knowledge after school. How many of you, I don't think you remember, but if you remember the times before school, how much you wanted to learn about stuff and the stuff around you? For the example, why is snow white? Why is, is the grass green and stuff like that? Like when we are kids, we ask so many questions and we want answers. But when we go out in school, the teacher says, shut up, you won't say anything, and you will just listen. Uh, basically, learn only what I to tell you to learn. Give you tons of information. Uh, give you one test. And if you fail the test, you're a failure. And basically, the, the whole experience is gone because they make you hate science. Yes, obviously. Well, well wait, who is not? Too much info and too much boring shit. Most of which is useless or unnecessary. Honestly, honestly, I don't think most of it is useless. The way they tell you, the, the way they give you that information is dumb, in my opinion. For the example, math. How many of you are hating math? And how many of you asked, why do I need this if I'm not gonna study or work something with math? I asked that so many times in school. My friends asked that. No, actually, I, I've never hated math. But it got boring at some point. Yeah. Do you know what is the answer? Why do you need math? Is that math gives you that ability to solve problems. Basically, when you do math, your brain unlocks part of it. This part of the brain uh, works for the problem solving, you know? I'm not sure how to explain it. But if you try to solve math problems, basically, every problem in life, you will need that logic as well. Basic math is fine. Everyone should know basic math, but everything that's little advanced, like the shit high school should be studied by choice or... No, no, no. Actually, I'm, I don't agree with you because this advanced math that you're telling about is the same problems. I mean, the problems are harder for sure, but if you go and try to solve this uh, math problem, problems everything in life will be much easier and you won't give up in the first uh, bad shit happens in your life education should be more about real life instead of gener general exactly i mean we learn so much in school but we don't learn how to survive in real life how to find a job how to find a job for us because it's easy to find job if you don't want to be an engineer or something you shouldn't be forced to study advanced math no i don't think this is advanced math this is basic math in high school even even in the university where you study like advanced math again it's still i think it's still easy a lot of information that school gives you don't give you the answer why why you should where you where you can use this information for the example a lot of the physics chemistry and stuff you have no idea how many experiments you can make and understand how world around you works not just with the knowledge. Social media is the best solution, but I think it's the best Let's see what that's solution, got. if that makes sense. Almost a year. So like, if I was Let's able to like raise a kid and be like, yes, people are going to talk to you this way. You're going to see weird shit online. It is what it is. Welcome to the real world. Like, I don't think that there's like a bad, like, I don't think that's bad. I feel like that's how to prepare. Because again, like a parent's responsibility in a lot of cases is preparing their kid to become an adult, right? The parent's responsibility is protecting the kid, sure, but in that way of protecting them is teaching them how to protect themselves. And basically, school has to do it as well. Parents have to teach you how to deal in real life. School has to teach you, and no one does. I mean, depends on the parents. Huh, maybe, maybe we need parent schools as well. But when you're gonna do that? So, in a perfect world, I would probably let my kids have social media at a certain point, right? If you try to survive and to provide the resources for your family like house food and stuff the last thing is to go and school for parents maybe not at five 
uh, but at a certain point I would, but um, I, I would make sure that I was paying attention and, uh, you know, they were learning what's going on, you know? <laughs> it's as one goat as a parent. Um, I think that it is. I think there's a lot of things that are net negatives on mental health, but you should allow people to engage in. So, like, for example, like fast food or like, uh, you know, junk food or like going to McDonald's. I think that allowing people to engage in things that are bad for them can help them learn that those things are bad for them. And in cases... I don't think uh, letting him eat junk food will make him learn that this is bad. I mean, a good example is to go and touch something that is really hot. If your kid doesn't know that this thing is really hot, he will touch it. At some point, even if you tell him, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, he will want to touch it. But if you let him touch it, he will touch it, he will burn, <laughs> and then he won't touch it never again. Easy, easy learning. This is where you can allow a kid, it's like, you know, don't touch the oven, uh, you know, it's hot. And exactly, then, you know, it's exactly. Like, yeah, why can't I put my hand on it? We'll touch it and find out. <laughs> oh my God. You're going to remember that one. Uh, exactly. So yeah, it's like if you can teach a kid by allowing a kid to make the mistake themselves, that's the best that's the best solution right because like yeah don't shelter them it's the same with like alcohol and drugs like every kid is going to have the opportunity to drink True. alcohol or do drugs before cigarettes they high school basically every single kid and maybe i'm in a weird place uh like here in austin texas but here like in middle school people were drinking and doing drugs right so like and then like, we'll get it too. That, right but what i'm saying is that like that didn't fuck me up because I didn't like doing it and my parents raised me to not be like that and that's just how I am and so by the way something that I remember that my father told me about the cigarettes was I won't judge you if you smoke cigarettes uh, one thing that my grandpa told to my father was don't uh, hide from me that you're smoking at some point you will smoke and you will hide from me so instead of that, just tell me that you're smoking. Like, uh, it doesn't matter if I tell you to smoke or not. You will smoke if you want, right? And my father taught me exactly this. Well, I never tried cigarettes or drugs. Skill issue. I'm not, I'm too smart. By the way, I tried cigarettes and pura. How, how is it called in English? Pura. I tried in the university the first year. And I literally tried it because I told my friends I never tried cigarette. And both of my friends was like, they were smoke, they were smokers. And they said, uh, this is the perfect time to try it just to know that it's not good. You know, I mean, you're already adult. You, you know that you won't smoke and just try so you can see how disgusting it is. I tried it. It was disgusting. I don't even drink coffee. Same, same. I mean, the coffee is kind of fine for most of people. I just, I don't like the taste. Honestly, do judge people if they smoke cigarettes. It's brain rot for me. It depends. Uh, like a lot of people start smoking at some reason. Most of them start smoking in school. I have a friend that start, started to smoke because of his mother. His mother was smoking and he went to her and told her, if you don't stop smoking, I will start smoking. And she was like, you cannot make me stop. Don't ruin your life because of this. And he started to smoke. There are a lot of people that start smoking in school. Start smoking because they went through some trauma or something. Or they think that it's cool to smoke in school. That's, that's why they start. It's not like you need to smoke in I think it's easy to say that you can just all ban social media. And like that, that is, I think, what you should do. But the true only real solution is good parenting. And hopefully you guys can understand the difference between those two things, right? Like the best real solution and the best systematic solution. Yeah. And age verification software will be trialed in this country. Uh, I don't think any, uh, that will uh, solve something. Relating to this legislation. So essentially, uh, Anthony Albanese, the prime minister, wants to clamp down age verification you gotta be kidding bro most of the sites that are 18 plus ha has something to ask you are you 18 plus and you say yes of course you will say yes does that solve anything no on on young people's use of social media hey what's up what's up, up? That parents are worried sick about what their experiences might be 
And, and at the moment, th there is already... I, d I do think that there is a passing of responsibility to these social media companies parents are doing, and I think that it's unfair. If your kid is going on social media websites, that's probably the last thing that you need to be worried about that your kid's doing. Like, I don't know about you guys, but like whenever we were in middle school, we were going on, on all kinds of like weird porn sites and stuff like this in middle school. So like, you really think <laughs> Facebook is corrosive? Like, come on. Like, let's be uh, So it, it, it's like, and I guarantee you kids are doing that now. Absolutely. Because like, what do you think? Like, oh, they're, they're different? Like, oh, wow. Like, now they're not, come on. It's all the same. Supposed to be uh, an age limit imposed by people yeah. like Facebook and Instagram who want you. I, I I just don't see it that way. I mean, kids. Most of the kids are saying it. Okay, if I'm smoking, I'm I'm cool boy. I'm cool girl. You know, I'm bad boy or something. I saw it in different way. That uh, why they're smoking. It it it's like gross. Yeah, I don't get it. How you you spend so much money? For cigarettes when you're in school. I remember I had money for food, and if I don't buy food, I'll buy something delicious like uh, candy or something. Or I feel like in the social media is the same. If you make the social media, if you ban the social media and make it something to look something bad, kids will want it more, in my opinion. And they try to steal passwords from his parents or something they will find a way but if you teach the kid how to use it and for what to use it that will make the difference but then it comes the problem like Asmo God said we need school for parents cancer sticks yeah users to be i think mm -hmm. at least 13 years yeah, old but the question is going to be and, and the reason why they want users to be 13 this is very important i don't want anybody to think that this is something that's being done in the best interest of the public <laughs> it's something that is being done because of a law in the united states it is the law that you cannot have somebody under 13 on a social media platform i forgot what the acronym is for what the law is but uh yes so it's not like they actually care it's that they are legally required to care <laughs> around enforcement Papa, yeah, and Papa, there you go. personal liberty and freedom, I guess. Children, online protections. Well, this like debate is ongoing, not in Australia, but as you say, right around the world. Um, how much um, time on a device is good and what should young people yeah. be consuming? Now, people who are concerned about uh, Australia's rush to impose a minimum age say that uh, essentially it would deprive um, Australian children of the benefits of social media for yep. many young yep. people. Sure. Uh, they happily use social media as a way to connect mm -hmm. with their friends, to uh, be educated and informed. And There's what, uh, some good stuff I, in And, and again, I know people well. say what benefits. As a kid that used social media, like I grew up on social media, even like even though I'm older, I was still on social media as soon as I could be. <clears throat> I feel like social media was cool. I liked it. I thought it was fun. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to have it taken away from me. That That's the way I feel critics of the Prime Minister want is it's not this now? sledgehammer approach Maybe. to imposing a minimum age, but more work <laughs> to be done to make the internet more appropriate and accessible for children. So Fuck it that. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, no. I don't want to change because some people can't be good parents. Absolutely fucking not. Just because you can't take care of your kid, I don't want to have to watch my language and not post certain things. Like, everybody has to censor themselves because you can't take care of your kid. Fuck you. Absolutely not. It is a massive debate in this country, and the government is promising to bring in new laws by the end of the year. So it is uh, very much in a hurry in this regard. Phil Mercer there for us. Well, there it is. Uh, I'm glad to see that. I think that the age should be the age of consent. Uh, that way you don't have people that are being preyed on by adult uh, adult men. I think this is obviously very common, uh, spawn camping, right? And uh, this is what happens. And so whatever the age of consent is, that should be what the minimum required age is. And uh, yeah, what is age of consent? Uh, it depends on the country, right? I mean, obviously different countries, even different states here in the U.S. have different ages of consent. You can but like, make the point it, is though. that that's, that's my barometer. So yeah, just another excuse for censorship.
Well, I don't think that you should censor anything on the internet, right? Uh, it's not that you should censor it. It's just that certain people shouldn't be on it. Uh, that's all. So yeah, yeah if, if and, you uh, look at that uh, way, maybe you are. <laughs> oh God. Oh uh, yeah. Um, if it's such a pr rampant problem, clearly there aren't enough safeguards in place. It makes sense to censor all until it's rectified. Too many people will be impacted while we get it right. Um, I don't think that it is a rampant problem. I think that the only real rampant problem is people with bad parents who are unable to instill morals and ideals in them that mm -hmm. allow them to be uh, bolstered for the problems in life. Uh, I, I don't... The idea that we need to <coughs> censor everything... Be uh, it's in our nature to self-destruct. Everyone just does it differently. Self-destruct. What do you mean? I play League. So do you. No, I don't think this is a self-destruct. I, I know that I'm saying that League is trash and so on, but I think, seriously, I think League uh, teached me so much about uh, the world, about communication, about a lot of stuff. If you take something serious, for the example, just League of Legends, and try to get high level, you have to solve a lot of problems. You have to become consistent. You have to see your mistakes, not the, to blame everyone, basically. You have to have good communication with your team, even if they are dumbasses, if they try to insult, you have to deal with them. And this is in real life as well. If you can do that in game, you can do it in real life as well. It didn't teach you by rewarding you, though. It, I, it taught you to true pain. No, it's not true pain. You have a goal. You have a goal. And if you want to achieve this goal, you have to do stuff. And if you don't do this stuff, you, you won't get to this goal. Simple as that. Basically, with uh, science and work. If you want to get the work you want, you have to work for it. You have to learn stuff. You have to educate. You have to do so much till we get to this goal, right? But if you say, oh, the teacher is bad um, and I won't learn anything from you because of the teacher, boo, it's the teacher's fault. Yeah, it's still your problem. Because some parents <laughs> are bad is outrageous to me. It's such an it's such an insane thing to think, in my opinion. Yeah, I would absolutely not, not want to do that. Should, there should be internet kids like YouTube kids. Yeah, <laughs> I think that like having applications like YouTube kids YouTube is totally kids. fine. And I'm completely okay with that. But whenever you're talking about actually like allowing people to use the different platforms like that are made for adults, then that's very different. Yeah, and all I see as a problem is, okay, we, we talk about social media. We talk about uh, some random problems as well. And all the solution I see is school and we have to change something about it stop going nah if you stop going to school you get them